space when you lay down in bed before you fall asleep. There's a lot of designing that happens at that moment. It's usually when I am inside my mind that that's where ideas come. It's almost as if she creates a clean, potent landscape for artists to spill their guts onto her, you know? She makes choices that are non-conventional but relatable to the story and the characters themselves. Often, my first question is what the feeling is that we want, the feeling that the audience is supposed to have, not the literal, but the emotional quality of the space. Communicating through color and space and line, I can see it in the same way a writer can probably see a story. I can see it visually. I just love using that medium to to kind of talk to people. And I love working on pieces that are deeply challenging content because you can actually change someone's perspective or their mind about something through a visual journey. The set is a part of the choreography. It's another person or it's another part of the show. It's like an emotional uh, engine. motor. Yeah, it's yeah. The, the, the engine and the characters. Because it's undeniable, like, it physically affects me. Design is a choreographic element in a piece. You are dictating how someone enters a room, how someone walks around a space. Early on in my career, I felt the need to serve only the script and or serve only the director's vision, like to kind of disappear. And then as I grew as a designer, I learned the importance of my artistic contribution and a boldness, and I'm not terribly shy when I design. Jillian is able to create spaces where audiences can be immersed in them completely. They're powerful. They're, they're very powerful. Jillian's sense of boldness comes from the investment that she's put into her imagination and all of the research that she brings to all of the worlds that she builds. The strength of it comes from that willingness to deep listen, that willingness to ask those questions, to be part of rooms knowing that you're not the main voice in the room. I think the most important thing is to be able to create spaces of trust and curiosity and fearlessness. You kind of find a way of working and a voice at the same time, and there was always experiment and risk and unconventional ways of approaching things. Now that I've, I've worked for as long as I have, I've enjoyed kind of the risk-taking part of things and not knowing if it's going to work. And it's exciting, you know, to do that. <laughs>